Greetings, I try Janine Palmer here, Spare Silver Moon for Divine Heretic Poetic Tales again. Um, it, this is another one from um, Energy Healing Wisdom. This one is called Ancestors, Pain, Ghosts, and Bones. It's horrific to think about and remember what some of our ancestors endured. The holocausts and genocides, creating deep wounds needing to be cured. The talking stick is in my hand. My guides wish me to speak, to share messages and tools for healing, for the ascension our ancestors seek. Our loved ones who left this plane, who watch over our work now here, they want us to be cleansed and healed by the power of our sacred tears. Holding on to our anger, which can be a type of fuel, but if used to keep us stuck in negativity, we might be playing the part of the fool. Holding on to any anger and sadness keeps us trapped. It keeps the pain alive in hell, like a knife stuck in their back. And every time we bring it up in seeking blame and rage is another day our ancestors can't move forward and turn the page. And every time we are triggered, our ego has its way. And then we take two steps backwards, not living in the now today. Who wants to stay stuck in hell when we can learn to heal and walk out with our warrior heads held high and proud with love and a victorious shout? We are meant to ascend from this lower realm, but we can't do it when we are stuck in hate. We heal with love and raise them with forgiveness as we walk through the warrior's gate. Those who are prisoners to their anger are definitely not warriors here. They haven't yet reached that level because of darkness's veil they don't see very clear. If you don't believe the truth of these words, consult a shaman or elder anywhere for higher guidance above any judgment and for the ancestors' wisdom they share. The shaman can help heal past life wounds. The elders are there with wisdom to guide and behind no more masks or unhealed pain should any warrior continue to hide. Pull the knife out of your ancestors' backs by pulling it out of your own. Stop twisting it and feeding darkness with rage for which our ancestors must atone. Don't keep them stuck in any realm because you will not release the atrocities they want and need to be healed from. Release them from their grief. When any loved one passes on to another realm or dimension, they can't move forward in peace and grace if our grief rules our action and intention. Our grief must be released to the light. Our grief must run its course and heal. If it doesn't, then in the end, Let's see, if it doesn't, then it's the ancestor's happiness we unknowingly begin to steal. In higher realms, they gain pure knowledge for the purpose of things unknown here. They exist in a place free of negativity and don't hold grudges there, my dear. But in between the realms, some might be restless and confused because they were too attached to the physical and unhealed emotions so abused. So let's not keep their pain alive. Let us heal them now with love. Let our energy flow from the great spirit on the wings of the raven and the dove. Let the energy we share with the world be a source of positive grace. So if we concentrate really hard, we will see smiles upon our ancestors' faces. The ghosts might be the spirits, restless or at peace, depending on our actions and the evolvement here whether we are in prison or are released. The ghosts might be the memories, the whispers of the past, which are partial interpretations based on limited information first and last. The bones which lay in the ground or scattered around as ash are the remnants of the clothes they wore when they volunteered for their tasks. The bones are always temporary. It is the spirit and soul which matter. And spirit or soul can remain stuck in unrest by our negative earthly ego chatter. Wanting revenge against ideologies is the devil having his way. 
the darkness which created the atrocities which we keep alive when we do not slay. To stand in our power we must forgive, because to forgive is to set ourselves and them free. That is when we become a true warrior, and it's our spirit which can then clearly see. Our ancestors are always part of us, and we are part of them. And we continue to heal as a collective when we allow love to flow out and in. Blessings and peace. Aho. That was another four-page poem. So, a lot of deep messages in there for a lot of people. And I guess that's it for this one for today. Thanks. Peace.